Hey, how's it going? It's time for another review video. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Coming to you live here from uh, outside of the old Strouch Casa. And uh, we're going to talk real quick a little bit about DNA, DNA replication, and then the cell cycle. So if you've been totally asleep in class, that's what we've been talking about for about two weeks now. Um, and what the test will be over tomorrow. So, um, I forgot to bring a test home to go over some questions. Got a little, little coffee, a little, uh, little uh, barbecue starting in the background. Beautiful MLK day here. Anyway, um, so I forgot to bring a test home, but I'm going to try. Let's see. Hopefully, this is still working. Um, so, we'll go over some questions. Real, real quick, just to, to kind of recap. So, We've got, you know, DNA. Remember, the monomer of a DNA is nucleotide. Nucleotide is just a fancy word for a uh, piece of DNA. Um, and then the parts of a nucleotide, you have, um, you know, if we talk about DNA like a ladder, you have the sides of the ladder made out of phosphate and sugar. And then you have the rungs of the ladder, okay, the middle part of the ladder that you would climb up of. Uh, climb up on would be the nitrogen bases. Okay, and remember, there's four different types of bases. There's adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. And as far as how they match up, remember, A's to T's, G's to C's. And, and what we talked about before too in class is uh, the order of those bases, the order of those A's and T's and G's and C's is what gives you your traits. Okay, the order of the bases is what makes you who you are um, and what gives you, you know, all of your physical traits and even some, you know, emotional traits, things like that. Um, remember, DNA has to replicate. You know, why does DNA need to replicate? Well, because when our cells make more cells, they, they need the exact same copy of DNA in those next cells that are being made. So DNA has to replicate. It happens during interphase and specifically during the S phase of interphase. So synthesis phase, when you're synthesizing something, that just, again, a fancy word for putting things together. So you're making more DNA. You're putting DNA together. Um, so a couple steps to DNA replication that we talked about. You have the DNA. Okay, it's together. Remember, like a zipper. It unwinds and unzips. All right, that's the first step. Helicase is the uh, enzyme that does that. Uh, it breaks apart the hydrogen bonds that hold the bases together. And then you've got uh, some free-floating nucleotides in the um, nucleus that start attaching to each side. And the end result of DNA replication, again, if you're replicating something, you're copying it. So the end result would be two identical copies of DNA. Um, so then that was pretty much one week and two minutes. Uh, the next thing we did was, uh, the cell cycle. Okay. Remember there's three big parts of the cell cycle. There's interphase, uh, which is the growth and development stage, just kind of the cell doing its job. It's hanging out. It's whatever it's supposed to do. It's doing it. And then, and there's three parts to interphase. There's G1, which is mainly growth and development. The S, which we just talked about is DNA replication. And then G2, a little bit more growth and in in development. Organelles are replicated. Um, and then it gets ready to go into the next stage of the cell cycle. So we have interphase first. Then we have mitosis. Mitosis is the second stage of the cell cycle. Um, with mitosis, you have four stages. And the main goal of mitosis is to get two identical nuclei uh, by the time the, um, the cell is, is done. Uh, by the time by the time the process is done, so you have um, uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So prophase is where a couple things happen. Things called centrioles move to opposite poles, okay, and they start to get those little spider web spindle fibers across to each other. Remember, those are going to help the chromosomes go to the right place. Um, also, the nucleol, the nuclear envelope disappears during prophase. Okay, that way the DNA and the chromatin and chromosomes it can all um, get get where it needs to go. Speaking of chromatin and chromosomes, the chromatin coils up and becomes actual chromosomes, and then they attach to the spindle fibers. So that's pretty much prophase. Metaphase comes, and that's real easy. Metaphase middle. So metaphase, they're going to line up, the, the chromosomes are going to line up in the middle of the uh, cell. We also call that the equator. 
then you're going to have anaphase. Okay, anaphase, remember we said anaphase away. So now the chromosomes are going to go away from each other and go to opposite poles, getting ready to be put into their new nuclei and have the cell split. And the next one then would be telophase. Remember, everything that was kind of undone in prophase is redone in telophase. So with telophase, the nuclear envelope starts to form again. You have the chromatin, uh, chromosomes. They kind of uncoil back into chromatin. Um, remember, we talked how you know DNA would be like the cotton, chromatin would be like the thread, and then the chromosome would be like a T-shirt. So that's kind of one way to think of DNA, chromatin, and chromosomes. It's all kind of the same thing, just different forms of it. Um, so then that's pretty much it. So also remember the cleavage furrow starts to pinch in. Um, that's in, in animal cells and plant cells. We call that the cell plate that you all saw during the lab. Um, and then the last stage of the cell cycle after telophase is what's called cytokinesis. Remember cytokinesis just it literally means the word itself, you know, cell splitting. So the cell finally splits apart. The cytoplasm um, separates and you get two uh, identical daughter cells. So there's pretty much your, your review. Um, let's look at a couple questions, and then we'll call it a day. Do you need something? What? Oh, okay. We'll look at that in a minute. You want to say hi to students? Hello. Okay. All right, let's get... <laughs> All right. Um, during the cell cycle, the cell replicates DNA. This step occurs... Is it during interphase? Yeah, that'd be a great answer. Um, let's look at another one. Anytime you see a diagram where it has like cells going through all the stages and it just asks you what's going on here, you need to make sure you say that it's um, you know the cell replicating or the cell going through mitosis or um, uh, uh, you know, repairing tissue, that's another one, where, where, you know, what's this, what's happening here? And remember, if, if you're going to repair tissue, you're going to go through mitosis, you're going to go through the cell cycle real quick to close up that wound, okay? Um, don't mess with that, that's going to be hot. Uh, He's talking. Anaphase, to stop, okay, let me finish this up, They're, I'm trying to go quick. Um, anaphase, what's the significance of this process? Remember, anaphase would ensure that each daughter cell would um, receive the same number of chromosomes as the original parent cell. Because remember, they're in the middle, and then they split during anaphase, and that's when they split up. So anaphase would ensure that, okay? Um... <laughs> Again, you see a picture, and then there's identical, two more of those same things. What happened? It would be mitosis. Um, what would happen if, if mitosis were not followed or accompanied by um, cytokinesis? Well, you'd have one cell with two identical nuclei. So that's a good one. You need to be able to put the stages of mitosis in order by description. Okay, so you... Not so much, pro, you know, just memorize the stages, but by description, you need to be able to know what happens first, what happens second. So definitely study your notes on that. There's a question that is pretty much word for word that. Um, you got to know uh, the diagram shows a plant cell close to the final stage of mitosis. Remember, you're going to look for a square cell and also a cell that would have a cell plate. A couple questions about DNA replication. Um, replication, again, if you see two identical strands of DNA, replication is occurring. Um, there's a question kind of from the lab where it shows an actual picture of real cells and you have to see which stage the cell's in. Um, lots of, you know, I mean, you know my tests. If you know your basic, if you know your information, it's a lot of questions worded, you know, different ways, um, but are basically asking the same thing. Um, oh, you know, it lists a, a G T T A C A, and it says, what do those letters represent? Do they represent a sugar, a phosphate, a nitrogen base? Go with nitrogen base. That would be a good one. Um, the shape of DNA, remember we call it a double helix. 
Um, what part of a nucleotide can be different? Remember that was part of your model packet? Remember it's the base. The nitrogen base is the only part that can change. Um, what type of bonds hold together the, the, ni the um, nitrogen bases? Remember it's a hydrogen bond. Okay. And that's really about it. There's 35 questions. It's a little bit shorter than your normal tests. Um, you need to remember your base pairing rules. There's a question where it gives you, um, you know, a, a segment of DNA, and then you have to say what would be the complement strand. So, um, anyway, that is uh, pretty much it. Sorry, it went a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, here, you want to go? You go, go dunk it for him. No. Oh, go shoot it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, what a shot. All right. You guys have a great rest of the day. I'll be there in the morning if you have any questions. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.